Brian Darrell, it's John again, West Coast. It's, uh, if I can get my eyes to work right, it's 4.56 in the morning, it's the 22nd, October 2023. Cut your act, <laughs> Taylor Swift, please. Yeah, I'm snorting on that one. You're asking yourself, we're trying to pose the question to the audience. Why the conservatives hate this kind of stuff? Because they do. They don't like it. They're all bitty thinking. I saw the article that the schmuck wrote. MSN. I sent the uh, link back to your comment section there. I took a look at it. You gotta be kidding me with this schmuck. And also with the... Um, female anti-Islamic racist. Well, there's a lot of things to say about her in the first place. It's too early in the morning on a Sunday for dealing with this stuff, I swear. You're really digging into it, Daryl. And then again, I guess you got to see what the other side is like. When they're showing me this much negativity and we don't like you in the first place because I got I got to build up my audience at this point. This is basically what we're dealing with is building up the ego and the audiences. They got to bitch and gripe about other things left and right. They have to. They can't deal with anything else but bitching and griping about things. And if they don't like a movie, okay, fine, the movie's bad. But other people like the movie. And they don't like it. They don't like the other people liking the movie because that makes them look and feel bad. See, they got this ego thing, the ego trip. They're much happier when you have a lot of people feeling miserable because you've heard of the old adage, Daryl. Please tell me you've heard about this one. Misery loves company. They're miserable. If they happen to see something positive, they got to see something negative about it because they don't want to see the happiness. They want to see the, mis the miserable. They want to hear the promises, but they don't want to do the damn work. They don't want to do what's necessary or what's needed, and they really don't care. They want to make sure that everyone else is feeling miserable at this point over here. This is, this is the message I've got already, not from the zeros and ones, but what I hear and what I've read. And yeah, I read this guy's article. Holy crap, Daryl. What the hell is this schmuck into? Some was bad enough dealing with Cheech and Chong back in the 1970s. Look. Yeah, he sounds spaced out, doesn't he? Oh, this and that. And we got a dump on this one. It sounds like every other damn worm that you keep digging up. And you're going to see more worms in the dirt. I think you're trying to dig him up so the uh, birds can eat at him. Let them have uh, fun with their upset stomachs over these little creatures. Oh yeah, I'm in a lovely mood this morning. And generally, I don't hang around with these kind of people in the first place. They are that negative, that droll, and I don't want to deal with it. Especially we're going to be dealing with anti this, anti that. And now we got to draw everybody else into the anti. But yeah, we do need to talk about these kind of people because they don't see anything good in their lives. And if they do, they blame everybody else for the damn thing. Well, they're probably saying, no, 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 I'm, I'm, it's this person's fault over here because I'm this miserable over here. Well, you choose your own damn misery. You choose your own damn misery. Yeah, I'm just commenting at the screen right here concerning about what's going on, Daryl. I guess that makes me a most miserable, sorry son of a sea dog around here anyway. Because I do cuss and curse like crazy. And when I actually do my own personal observations at this point, I really let loose on those damn things. And I usually try not to attack people by name, except if it's going to be relevant to the article that I'm that I'm posting right now. 
Okay, Taylor Swift, yes, she's a young, attractive, energetic woman who knows what she's doing and knows what she's saying. She's appealing to the younger masses, to the millennials, to the Zers out there, Gen Zers. And this is their energetic icon. This is the Energizer, Energizer Bunny, if we want to call her that one. I don't mean any insult to her. She doesn't like the conservative crap happening at this point, even though she probably does live in that kind of a territory. But she doesn't like where the current mindset is, is into the gutter. And now we got to blame, 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 because that's the only way we can get out of things is blame, 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 blame. We both know we've got out of, we were in the situations like that. We were both in it. You and yours and me and mine and we both went, you know, south on those things till we hit recovery. Then the thing is doing our four steps, we found out the reasons why. And that gives us a little bit of an edge over these people. See, the thing is, Daryl, it's taking care of uh, responsibility, accountability, transparency. And if we're not that, we're not true to ourselves, we're not true to anybody else for that matter. They want to find the blame, let them blame. They're going to do all that. You can't change a hater like that if they don't want to be changed. And you know how that works. I know how that works. And believe me, holding on to a hell of a lot of resentments and anger and hatred like that, shit. That's going to put me back out there again. I'm not looking forward to it, dude. There's a lot of anger and a lot of vitriol going on these days, and I am not willing to deal with it. I'm not willing to do, uh, entertain the idea either. Why would conservatives fear Taylor Swift? She's got a message. And she's doing something positive with her life. And she's attracted a lot of followers in the different age groups. Those are probably scares the living crap out of conservatives. Where the hell is there attractive people? You know what I kept saying on social media, even being posted by the other guys from the progressive media? And some of these guys are trying to show how handsome they are. And I'll look at these guys and they're all dirtbags. Now, I know I look like a scummy dirtbag. I haven't showered in a few weeks. Well, a couple of weeks anyway. Personal information, huh, TMI? On that one. No, because I tell you, when you get into situations where I get into mentally, it's hard enough for me trying to work with that one, so. But yeah, I plan on taking a shower today because tomorrow i got to go back to campus and deal with another day and deal with trying to educate my poor diminished brain <laughs> but anyway I thought I might as well talk to you about this stuff so I'll be following up with one of my regular logs on this one so I will keep in contact with you pal just check out your feeds check your feeds that's enough for me for right now I need coffee I need a shower. I need to wake the hell up. I need got work to do today. 